So, so as, you, as you look at how to differentiate your business, we're going to wrap up, but there are six ways that we see businesses that we work with trying to really truly differentiate themselves. And you don't have to choose only one, but I would submit that you really do need to focus. And, but, but the comment is, you, you see the question up there? How do you show up differently? In a crowded market, that question has never been more critical than it is today. How do you show up differently with whomever your direct competition might indeed be? How do you do it? Typically, there are a combination of these six areas that businesses focus on. You saw some examples on the previous slide. They either differentiate themselves based on the product and the product quality that they bring to the market. Some people do it on the level of service that they bring to the market. If you've got an artisan craftsman that installs your product, scream it every possible chance you get. Of course there are a lot of people that can install this product. However, not everyone has had, you know, 19 years of experience doing it at this level, which this guy does. It's amazing how oftentimes folks don't take into consideration how much of a critical difference that might indeed make. Personnel. Okay, what kind of people do you have? There are some businesses that absolutely differentiate themselves based on the personnel that they have in their company. You see it all the time as, as you think about what's going on in the business. Channel, how do you go to market? You know, one of the reasons, again, the internet works in some markets and some pieces of some manufactured goods is, is again, people don't perceive a lot of difference. I can find out all I need to know there. I might as well just buy it there. Done. Right? Makes it easy for me. Right? Price, certainly one. Now, you know, I mentioned Walmart, and I want to go back to and just mention, remember, there's another way to differentiate when it comes to price, and that's price on the high end. Don't ever apologize for being high if you're worth it. The biggest single mistake businesses make is, is they, again, I said it early, I'm going to say it one more time, they don't believe it themselves. Wow, it's awful expensive. Guess what? You have to do that. Yeah, Jay. I know a guy in Montana uh, who was a welder on his professional card. He said the most expensive welder in Montana. He was that proud of it. He was also the best when he put it on his card. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you don't believe it, no one's going to, right, as, as you play that out. So, I, you know, again, we use Wally World. They're a price differentiator on the low side, but think of the businesses on the high side. Right? I mean, you, you think of brands, well, you have one up there, Beamer, right? Um, Rolex, no, no, no question, as you, as you think about that particular industry. I mentioned the Deer organization earlier. I mean, they don't even understand why they wouldn't be the most expensive. In fact, it upsets them when they're not. Now, when they're, most, when they're more expensive than another Deer dealer, they get into some pretty good fights, right? But compared to their competition, eh, they expect it to be. So remember, it can work both ways. And my comment to you is, don't apologize for it if you're worth it, right? What are you bringing to the party as you play it out? And then finally, this issue of image. Um, the issue thing about your industry is, while we got some very, very large businesses, at the end of the day, it is still a very entrepreneurial, business-oriented kind of focus. We have folks that are indeed passionate about what they do. They've been in the industry a long time. Their businesses have been in the industry a long time. Take advantage of that. Not everybody has that opportunity in all industries. Take advantage of that and play it out. But the question comes back to the top. How do you show up differently in this marketplace? You want a simple exercise to do with your teams back home? Ask them that question. Don't have the six things up. Just ask them. So how do we show up differently in our market? How are we different? It scares the heck out of me when I ask that of groups. They say, well, we don't really do that much different than those other guys. They do the same thing we do. They, they sell, fill in the blank. They got service people. They got a store, you know, fill in the blank, right? And the moment they say that, I know that at best they're doomed to mediocrity. At best. At best when they do that. Because the biggest difference may be the person sitting in their chair. It likely is. So ask your team. How do we show up differently in this market? So to leave you, I guess I'll just leave you with one final comment. If you really want to be good and outstanding moving forward at being a professional seller and having the best possible chance of success, I think the old stork's got it right there. If you can see it, the old frog is not going down without a fight. You all see him there in the mouth? And it's kind of exactly what we're talking about. It, the market kind of feels like the stork right now. Fair statement? Be the frog. 
absolutely be the problem. Never, ever give up in making sure that you and your sales team are the absolute best they can possibly be. That's how successful will be yours. Hope you've had a good morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks very much.